Hi friends, this is Leela. Welcome to my channel Leela Webdo. In the previous video, we have seen the async functionality implementation using the composable. We are able to see this output. So this is the output which we are able to see it. We are able to get the post details, the async functionality. That means it may be axios call or fetch call or anything. So we are able to write it in a separate function and we are trying to pass the URL. And now this composable, we can use it anywhere we want. In any component, wherever the async functionality is needed, we can use this one. So fine. Now this URL is a, what I can say is the static URL. We are able to call this use fetch thing. So for example, let's say that this, this URL is a dynamic. Dynamic means you are having a multiple uh, post details. If you want to get the post details, you are having much multiple post IDs means. So when you click on a button or anything, so we want to get the post details of that button click thing. So then how we can respond to that URL. So whenever this URL is dynamic means we need to get call this use fetch thing. Why? Because we need to get the new data from the API. How we can respond to these changes. Let's try to see in this video. For example, let's say that I will show you the scenario. Here I am having a div. Okay. And here I will be having a button. Let's say that we will be having load post ID. So we will be having different post IDs and we need to load the post IDs. And here I can take n in 5. We can have key of n and I will show the n here. That's it. So now here we are having a button. We we'll try to see the output. We are having a button. Post ID is 1, 2 and 3. Now when I click on this 2, so I need to display only the post details of an ID 2. When I click on 3, I need to display only the post details of ID 3. So like this, depending on the button click, so we need to change the response. That means the use, use fetch the method, the composable method has to call all the time. So whenever the post ID is changed. Okay, so let's try to take this one. Constant post ID is equal to ref. So it's a ref of one. So by default, I will be taking the one. So by default, I will be taking the one. Now here, when this one is clicked, at the rate click dot prevent, at the rate click dot prevent is equal to post ID is equal to n. So whenever the button is clicked, we will be changing this post ID. Up to here is also fine. Now this URL needs to change according to the post ID. So that means it should respond according to the post ID. Then what I can do, I can change this URL to a computer property. So why? Because it need, whenever the post ID is changed, so then we need to reframe the URL also. Okay. Let's go here. I will be writing computed of like this. We will be writing, and here I can return return this URL slash dollar post ID dot value. Okay, that's it. So here we are able to see the computed value, and this computed value whenever the post ID is changed. So according to that one, the URL will be also changed. So here we are having the use fetch of URL. So here we are trying to send the use fetch of URL. Fine. So here we will try to see, refresh this page. So here we are able to see this not a valid JSON. Fine. Why? Because this URL has been changed. So why? Because right now instead of getting the post list, we are getting a single post details. So here what I can do, let's go to the use fetch. So we will be getting a single post. So I will change it to post. And here also I will return as a post. And here in the post dot, we also will be taking the post here. And what I can do here, we can have like this post and I can remove this post details. Fine. So this, this is the changes which I want to make it. Now, if I try to see, let's refresh this page. Post is not defined. So where is this one? Post is not defined. I think in the use fetch only. Yeah, here. So I will change it to post also here. So fine. If I refresh this page, maybe we will be able to get this one is not a valid JSON. Okay. Let's see. We'll try to change one by one. Mm, do page. Okay. If you are here URL, we are having the ref URL, right? So fine. Now let's try to get this use page. And here we are having the post and error, right? First, what I want to do. So this post data, this URL, which you are trying to get the URL is a ref. Why? Because it's a computer property. By default, the computer property is a ref reactive or reactive state. So that means ref value. So here, first of all, what we need to do, we need to convert it into, we need to remove it from the ref thing. So here I can take URL value is equal to 
unref so i am removing this one unref so now here let's take this url value and keep it here oh sorry url value okay i have changed it maybe now it will work so let's see so first we are able to get this id one and all those things why because the ref value is one so now if i try to click on this one so it is not responding so where whatever the button i am trying to click here it is not responding so what i need to do it needs to respond to the changes so what i can do is here instead of calling the do fetch so we can do that if is ref so if the url is a ref reference type so that means not a reactive type then watch effect of then you need to watch do the watch effect of do fetch so you need to reflect so here url it will try to change with the it will try to detect the changes or otherwise else so simply call the do fetch that's it now if you try to see the output so refresh this page hope it will work i think so second see we are able to get the value so this is how we can able to get the value now this is how we can respond to the changes now if i want to get a loading symbol and also error symbol and all those things means then also we can do it so what i can do here so we can write something like await timeout i am writing some simple method timeout okay and here i will be having a function timeout okay so this returns a promise so why because i am using the await right so we this will return a promise new promise of and here you will be having a resolve and a reject you will be having two things resolve and reject and here i will be using set timeout of so in this set timeout i will be having something like 500 and in this set timeout uh, what i can do if math dot random if math dot random is less than 0 0.3 if it is less than 0 0.3 then reject so i am using the reject and we can pass new error of random error or anything so whatever the error you want you can display it so now if it is else okay then it will be resolving the promise that's it so i need to return this promise so return this promise that's it if you try to see the output here refresh this page now set time what we have we added any uh, 500 right half millisecond half second so if i click here so here we are able to see the output so here we are able to see the random error right if i click on this one see we are able to see the error so here we are able to see the random error random error if i click on this one why it's all the time it's coming so let's refresh this page okay so await timeout i am using this await timeout mm, we are returning this one if it is less than 0 0.3 means okay so we are returning this one reject and resolve fine everything is correct i think according to me let's see whether any problem is there yeah nothing is there so here if i click on this one so yeah here we are able to get the issue without any problem now this time we got the random error and here also we are getting the random error so here we are getting the random error let's try to see what is this happening here let's try to see again i will click on this one fine right so if i click on this one so once we are getting the random error so we are not able to get the data so why this one is happening is here is so we already have the error value so we are trying to save this error value and post value right so before that one what we can do is so here we need to empty this one post dot value is equal to null okay and error dot value is equal to null why because so post dot value and error dot value they are having one one value so why because first it is calling this do fetch it will be having one value whenever we are calling this do fetch i will be emptying this post value error value so that this loading symbol so so that this loading symbol and all those things will be able to appear now if you try to see the same thing i hope that this is a problem quickly here see loading symbol i am able to see so here sometimes you will be getting the error also see here i got the error if i click here now i am able to get the value like this so like this we will be able to get the computed value so whenever you want to deal with the dynamic value using the composables means like this you can deal with this async functionality 
Hope you understood about this uh, watch effect and computed using in the composables. If you have any doubts or any suggestions, please post the comments below to this video. And if you like this video, please do support me by subscribing to my channel. Thank you.